Hello friends, my name is Jitendra Bhapna. I am a senior MuleSwap architect. In this tutorial, we are going to see what is MuleSwap JCE cryptography. Before moving to JCE cryptography, it's it's very important to understand why we want a JCE cryptography. You know, so basically, when you are passing your confidential data or sensitive data over a channel, over over the network or any channel, you need to encrypt those data, right? So in that case, you can use the algorithm, uh, JCE algorithm. There are various other algorithms provided by MuleSwap. One is the PZP. So you can use those algorithm to encrypt the data when you are passing over the network. Okay. So let's understand what is JCE and what are the different features provided by JCE. So JCE is nothing. It's a Java cryptography extension, which provided a wide range of encryption capabilities. So basically, a JCE is capable of encrypting your data. decrypting your data it can sign the data and even it can validate the signature of the data okay so there are two different ways provided by the jce one is password based encryption and one is key based encryption so in password based in encryption you just have to pass the key and that key will be used or that password will be used for decrypting and encrypting the data in case of key based integration or key based encryption you can pass a certificates you know like jks or j you know any certificate for encrypting the data and decrypting the data in this video we will going to see how to achieve a password based encryption okay so i will jump into my anypoint studio So I have already created one uh, application that is JCE PBE example. So PBE is nothing; it's a password-based encryption. So by default, a crypto module is not available in your Mule Palette. So you can go to your Anypoint Exchange and you can just you know download from Anypoint Exchange. In my case, I have already downloaded it, so I will going to use that only. So first, we will use the encryption technology. So I will use the HTTP listener. Okay, let me do one thing. Okay. Just give me a second. Okay, so I will start configuring my HTTP listener. Okay, so I will simply say all settings default and path I will say encrypt. Simple. So I have configured my HTTP listener and I will search for crypto. and i will use jce encrypt pbe so we are using the password based encryption so we will start configuring a pbe a jce encrypt pbe okay so so it's simple like you know you just have to give a password you can select any password in this case and like you can use any algorithm default algorithm is like pbe with hmax sar 256 and aes 128 but you can select anything so there are wide range of algorithm provided by jce which can be used in uh, encrypt your data and decrypting your data so in this case i will use a password as a mule swap so i kept it visible you can hide it also okay so i have already configured my jce encrypt uh, password based encryption it's very simple so now generally what we can do uh, we can transform the message into the encrypted message into base 64 uh, string so i will use the transform message okay i will simply say convert to base 64 okay so i will put one logger so you can see what is the encrypted message here okay so just give me a second i will just say in encrypted okay so i will go to transform message and i have to uh, import two libraries one is import dw crypto and one is import to base 64 from dw it's a core uh, library and binaries now i will just keep my output as a json and simply what i can do i will convert my payload to base 64 my encrypted payload to base 64 so this will this will generate the encrypted payload and this will convert that payload into base 64 okay simple so now what i can do i can save everything I will run the application. And let me move it to. Okay, I will post the message. So HTTP localhost 8081 encrypt. Then I can remove this. 
and raw and json so i'll pass this json let me copy message from here okay this is my message so my application is filled why it's filled let me check crypto library is there let me check in come form is there anything wrong with this this is perfect so let me check where is the error line number 13 I'm not sure. Let let me de call the decrypt. Okay, the application is started. I don't know what is the issue. So let me test the application. So you can see the base 64 encrypted string has been generated let me check your see this is my encrypted message okay so i have already logged that message you can see that my json has been encrypted and this is my base 64 output of that encrypted message now what we will do we will going to use uh, like how we can decrypt the message message so we will use other http listener okay in this case I can say decrypt and now I have to convert the base 64 string this is base 64 into binary so for that I will use the transform message okay and it's simple and now what you can do you can say import from base 64 okay from dw core binaries here i have to convert into binary so i will use octet stream and now i will use from base 64 i have to convert a base 64 payload into binary okay it's simple now next thing i will use jce decrypt jce decrypt pb okay and you have to uh, use the same algorithm which you have used for encryption and pass the same password okay simple you can see it's a mule swapped and that's it just save it The application started so now i will copy this message In, instead of encrypt i will use decrypt and i will change my payload so i will pass this base 64 uh, or like encrypted string and i will send it i got the decrypted message correct also you if you want to see like uh, what it generated for binary so you can put the logger here simple and simply say binary payload and simply you can say payload simple save everything okay 
let's wait while application get deployed now I can send it again okay the, this is the decrypted message we got it and see so this is my binary string right okay so I hope you like the video in next video we are going to see how you can use the key based encryption instead of password based encryption okay so thanks for watching